Hi, in this tutorial, I want to talk about iMovie Library. So let's think of libraries as an actual library uh, that you have books, you have other things in it. So libraries right now, iMovie, are stored. If I put my mouse over here, they're my users, my home folder, movie, and then iMovie Library. So if I go over here to movies, my home folder, and then iMovie Library, if I would open it, it would open up with iMovie. And it shows that right now I have about 968 megabytes in the iMovie library. So what I want to talk to you today about, about libraries and how they're important in iMovie. And even in the newest version of Final Cut Pro uh, 10.1. So you can have multiple libraries, all right? And they could be on multiple drives. So if I wanted to create a new library, I would go open library, then I would hit new. All right. And then I want that iMovie library to be housed on this hard drive right here. So my SSG. So I want to call it test. Uh, let's just call this uh, wedding. And we'll call this wedding slideshows. Well, we'll just call it wedding. And then I'm just going to hit save. It's going to be in there. All right. Then in the library, that library is attached. Remember, it's attached to my external drive. I can import media straight into that library. So let's say if I want to import media or if I want to do something from, let's just say my desktop, I have raw videos and you can remove things from sidebar. By the way, if you just right click on it, there are raw videos that I want to do here or something like that. I can put that in the library. Right now I have a uh, camera uh, that's hooked up to uh, actually, it's inside of uh, on my MacBook Pro. Uh, it's a it's a, a S, SD card. So let's just say I want it to go here or go to my hard drive. Let's say I want to go to my users. Uh, let's say if I want to go to my home folder. And let's go to my photos, my pictures. And then I want it to look at the these pictures right here all right so these are pictures that i have for uh, a wedding and a vow renewal that i've done recently so i want to make this into a nice little slideshow real quick so if i want to do that i can just click on all of these and import the selected ones so i'm going to import that all right so it's going to process them for import and remember it's loading them in to my library in iMovie. Now libraries you can also have this is an event right here alright so these are all my clips events. Now in order to have something down here you need a project so if I just click right here we need to do a file and really it's called new movie but it really is a project so I'm going to go new movie then I'm going to choose uh, I'm not going to choose any theme because it's just going to be a, um, a slideshow so I don't want any theme here um, let's just see. So let's just do this. Hit no theme. And then it's going to say what event. And now it shows iMovie library up here. Then it shows this right here, which is a project. It just shows the date. So remember, this is the library that is going under the wedding library. And the project name is 1222. The event name, I'm sorry, is 1222 2013. So I just want to call this Cephas. Uh, slideshow. All right, that's the name of my movie or project. So I just want to make sure that we're all clear. So now we have an event that's called 1223 under my wedding library. Now I can rename that event. If I just click here and I can call this Cephas Wedding. And remember, you have three things. So I have the slideshow, that is the bottom, that is the project or the actual movie. I actually have the the event here then I have the library that I created so now I can go through and create all of the information and all of the the things I want to do with this um, with this wedding and with this slideshow all right take care